Patrick's got a presentation for us. Yeah, you hey, know, I'll be, I'll be honest, uh, mainly a presentation uh, for Larry, okay. uh, right. as you will come to see. You know, uh, for those who didn't see it, two weeks ago I unveiled my New Year's resolutions for 2023. Oh, yeah. And there was one resolution in particular that uh, obviously very important to me, uh, one that, if I'm being honest, is essentially my Mount Everest. All right. Uh, and on that day, two weeks ago, I learned that, that the climb might not be as difficult as I had imagined. Have a look. This might be my most ambitious goal. Uh, return the fart noise back to regular rotation. Now, hold on. Yeah. So long as it's used in highbrow situations. Right. Maybe we'll have a segment where yeah. we present them to you with a nice easel and a board <laughs> or, or PowerPoint oh or something God. like that. That's so and we'll, we'll, would that yes. work for you? Would yeah, you be maybe. like a Shark Tank kind of thing? <laughs> sure. See, oh, okay. he said sure. So yes. I got the thing. I, Larry, after some time, and what I feel is honestly the most creative stretch of my life, I have come up with some highbrow, high concept uses of the fart noise, All right. which I would like to present to you today. If I got this, you know, the glasses. The yeah, thing. You look I great. know I seem overly formal, but that's how important this is to me. It's like I feel like I'm on Shark Tank, yeah. you know? But obviously, you guys are not sharks, you're right. friends. So instead, yeah. I'm calling this segment. Tank is what I'm calling it. And, up, bro? and I gotta tell you, because like the show, it's inspired by a picture of you, my life's work. And this title, let me tell yeah. you, this title demonstrates the growth in me. Yeah, as Because uh, I easily could have called it Shark Tank. And I didn't, I called yeah. it Fart Tank, yeah. which That's is just... much more appropriate. Yeah. So, uh, right. and here, uh, let me just. Still waiting for the high bro. Yeah, hold here on, Larry, relax. Right. Now, before I share my ideas, I'd like to share my thesis for this presentation. Okay. Essentially, it is the principle by which this work is guided. It's a tweet from comedian Emily Heller who writes, if you don't find farts funny, then you're a loser because you're choosing to have less joy in your life but the exact same amount of farts. Yeah. And I feel like that really cuts to the cheese of the matter. And Larry, you're not a loser. You don't right. want to feel like a loser. Right. And I think that after what you see today, you never will. Okay, All right. now my first idea, here you go, Larry. Here's my first idea. When Marcus does one of those roller coaster segments, we play the fart noise when he's on the way down. <laughs> now, this might be difficult for you to envision, and that's why I created a little demo okay. of what that would look and sound like. Okay. Take, right. take a look. It is what a beautiful morning in Sandusky, Ohio. Yeah. We got the fog rolling in. Oh and my we're here. gosh, look at, at that hill. I can't see anything. Oh. It is so foggy up here. All right. I can't see. Marcus scream, but with these additions, he's really going insane in the methane. Am I right? <laughs> the Wonderlick twins are loving it over here. <laughs> All right. It's Here you go. You're so so on it, Larry. Next, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, this, this is why I got a lot of ideas yeah. for you. I knew you wouldn't like all of them. <laughs> Next up, something to accompany Jared Payton's dance routines on Bears Monday. You know how he likes to bust yeah. a move after yeah. every segment? Yeah. Well, look at how much fun it is when that's not the only thing he's busting. <laughs> <laughs> See, that works a little bit you better. You like that one. A little bit yes. better. He's sitting, he, the facial yeah. expressions, okay. it's, it's a second level. Okay. We're going to get better that each is. one. Here we go. All right. All right. <laughs> This one, I this one just came to me. I was in the shower. They say your best ideas come yeah, to you in the shower. Yeah, I think right. this yeah. is just outstanding. During Dean's cooking segments, yeah. one fart for when he says delicious, two <laughs> farts for when he says super delicious. And I know what you're thinking. There's no way to improve that segment. We get fed every Wednesday. But what if the next time the chef is baking brownies, he's baking them in his pants as well? <laughs> it's so easy and it's so delicious. But this is some of the best. The most delicious soup that you're ever going to get. And let me show you now what takes this dish from delicious to super delicious. Into the old crock pot with the ham goes the delicious juices. Yeah, it doesn't work. No, you're trying too hard with that one. Listen, uh, Larry, you guys are idiots. <laughs> yeah, you guys are like eight-year-old yeah. kick 
boys. Quiet. I, hey, listen, not that I don't enjoy them laughing, but I, yeah. listen, you're the only opinion that matters oh. here. All right. <laughs> I, it was complex. <laughs> Next one, up. Oh, I think you're going to love this one, Larry. <laughs> this one will get a really a ton of use out of the sound effect for this one. Anytime Robin forgets her glasses on and rushes to take them off, she rips them off right before she's about to speak. But what if we had a one-cheek squeak? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> now that works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah baby. Oh. <laughs> it works because you're not yeah. just throwing any random sound there. You're yeah. really yeah. matching it up with the expression. Yeah. All right, you're yeah. two for four. See, right? I... <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Go deep. Yeah. Okay. Now. I want you, Larry, to keep an open mind about this one because it involves you. Okay. All right, that's fair. Uh, but it also might be my most versatile idea. Anything you do, Larry, you're one of the most versatile people yeah. I've ever worked with. You were a good journalist, a yeah. good interviewer, you're a funny guy, and far be it from me to tell you how to improve your work. But imagine every time you do some Emmy winning work and we add a little sphincter whistle. <laughs> Does it concern you that the world seems to be looking inward, especially here in, in, in America? How that, does that impact democracy and trying to spread democracy, I guess, the best you can yes. around the world? <laughs> My beautiful wife there with me in college. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. it's pretty, pretty cool to look back on photos when I was going through those to do the book was neat. It's <laughs> oh, great. Everything's happy and fantastic. Oh, hello, hello there. What are you doing here? And then, Coming up tonight on on backstory. <laughs> Doesn't work. No, no I, I, think, I think Robin was uh, first place yeah. and second place was uh, Dean Peyton. <laughs> oh, oh Jared. Okay. okay. Yeah. Those are the only two that I think uh, work. Uh, All right. Well, listen. Then yeah, that's what we'll use them for. Two out of five is not bad. I got to tell you, Sharks. That's a lot more than I thought I was going to get yeah. coming into this little pitch. Yeah. Um, uh, but thank you. Yeah. That's, uh, so that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, everybody, in the, for giving me this chance to. I'm in on all of it. This is the great you. thing I love about this show is that they really allow you to pursue your passions on this show. Yeah. You find a thing that you love and that you have a real zest for, and they they. they I like you to just go right after it, and That's, man, am I blessed, wow. I gotta tell you. That's the best segment in 10 years here on this show. Thanks, all. That was fun. Wow. Well, that's good yeah. stuff. Great. Oh, hey.